In this video, I will create an automation file using Process Runner to allow a user to be able to upload data from an Excel spreadsheet directly into SAP without being required to navigate SAP views. You can see here that in this Excel spreadsheet, I have header items as well as line items, which is going to require utilizing looping. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to open up my process runner. I'll click on new. I'm going to put in the transaction code CJ02. This is a change work breakdown structure code in SAP. I'm going to go ahead and click start recording. Here I have the option to select the, the appropriate SAP system for this data. I'm just going to click log on. Go ahead and put in my password. Now I have my first SAP GUI screen. I'm just going to bring up my Excel spreadsheet, keep that uh, data in the background. All right, so I have my project definition, then my WBS element. From there, I'm going to enter the next SAP view. Going to the Responsibilities tab, I'm going to select the appropriate WBS element. I'm going to go to Edit, Object, Position. Again, I'm prompted to enter the WBS element. And from here, I'm going to go to Person, and I want to change it from person two to person one. And then from the person, I'm going to drill down. This will take me to the basic data tab, but I need to go to the assignments tab. And here I'm going to put in the profit center. And after entering the profit center, I'm going to go over to the user fields tab. From here, I just need to fill in indication. Formulation. A therapeutic area. Geography. And the phase. Priority, I believe this is steering committee, and we have the approval, and next I'm going to save this. Now that I'm done recording the transaction, I just click OK. And now I'm taken to the Mapper tab, and I want to link this to that external Excel spreadsheet. It's going to go to Use External Excel File, pull up the Excel file that I showed you at the start of the video. I know that my data actually starts in row 3, so I'm just going to change that start row to 3. Make my end row 12, go back to the mapper tab. All right, and now let's make sure that each of these columns of data are mapped properly. So I have column A, project PSP ID, and then project POS ID B. And now I need to start my looping. So I'm going to go ahead and click here start loop and then my looping my block type is going to be on the blank cell in the column and that's going to be starting in column C I'll just point this out to you you can see here that these projects are separated by the blank row and that the looping is going to start in column C so now let's get the rest of these make sure let's let's make sure the rest of these columns are mapped properly. 
So you have the number of the responsible person, the project number, D, the profit center, E, first user field, F, Quantity length G, all right, so it looks like all of my columns have been mapped properly. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the Home tab and I'm going to do a test run. looks good. All right, so if I was able to do a successful test run, so now I'm going to go ahead and run the data. I'm just going to clear clear this now, and I'll go ahead and, and run this. And there we can see that the projects, both projects have been successfully changed. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to watch some other videos to get a greater idea of the capabilities of Process Runner.